Hey guys, today I'm going to do a full walkthrough guide about the clock tower level within that cells. Welcome, I am Xander from GameScript Network where I obsess to help you out with your games and first before I'm going to walk you through the level, I am sharing with you which calls of power you can find about the time door, but there isn't any time door within this level so you can skip this one, the enemies you encounter and what they will drop, what you get behind the boss stem cell doors and which exits there are within the level. There are two scrolls of power and three dual stat scrolls you can find within the level. As for the time door, there isn't any one, so you can skip it. As for the enemies you encounter, these are the dark trackers and they drop the repeaters crossbow. The cannibals and they drop the hukutsu's bow. Bombardiers and they drop the wave of the Nile and the powerful grenade. Bats and I dropped the knife dance and the oiled sword. On that archers and they dropped their infantry bow and the ice bow and the bow and endless quiver. Dog trackers spawn more and in pairs when you have one or more boss stem cells active. As for the boss cell doors, in the one cell door you will find a weapon shop, in the two cell door you will find a cell container, and in the three cell door you will find a chest. As for the Forza door, there isn't any door within this level, so you can skip this one. There is only one exit within this level, and that is the exit to the clock room where you fight the timekeeper boss. But now guys, I'm going to walk you through this level within the game. So guys, now we are in the clock tower level, and when you first go here, and if you have the ram rune and slam the ground, there's always going to be that item. Or not the grenade, but there's always going to be a random item you can just get for free. So that is quite a neat. So how this level is built it up, it is essentially it's just a tower. A clock tower. And it is built it up from top to the ground. You have to climb up. And there are some side towers you can go to. I think there are mostly three si towers in general, or there are four, but it depends on the map layout. So here's the dual stats roll. Oh yeah, if you are having at the start of the level, always check this teleporter. It saves you from backtracking once you climb up those towers. So. I'm also going to activate this teleporter so, it, so I don't have to backtrack. And here is another scroll. You really want to look out for the cannibals. They can get get you off guard and kill you really fast. Also look out for the bombardiers. Dog trackers are not that difficult. They can be overwhelming in groups, so I'm gonna pick up this gold. Care for the traps because in this level they can be dealing a lot of damage. So you don't want that. So they're activating the teleporter. Another scroll. And I need to quickly freeze these guys here so they don't kill me. Oh yeah, and with this level, there's also going to be uh, bells hanging in the kind of level design background, and you hit them. They're going to make a bell sound, obviously. <laughs> but it is for the uh, the punishment shield, what is behind a door, and there are four bells, and if you hit them from the low tone to the high tone, then you will get the key out of the last one. So you can get the punishment shield. Here is the box maker key. What you need to get to the second level. Or the next level, I mean. To fight the timekeeper, so. But I reached the top of one of the other towers, so now I'm going using the teleporters to go to the other towers and see what is there. There's going to be a ruby here. 
So then again, there is going to be these clock towers. I think that's the highest stone. I don't know for sure, but it sounds like it. But I get back to that at the end of the level. So I'm first going to go to through all the towers. That's the two cell door and there's a wall room here. I don't need health. And this is the elite room. And it got like destroyed and it dropped the ice bow. What is really amazing. Wow, dude, the S ice bow. Definitely going to use that. And some good damage reduction. So I think we're getting at the top of the level. Maybe there's another... I need to double cross on that deck. Okay, look out for traps because they deal a lot of damage because I got a lot of stats. Um, even the trap damage scales with your that's what is retarded but delete it i think this is the top of the tower yes and now we'll go to the other towers oh dear be careful where this uh, teleport spawns you it can be overwhelming if you spawn directly into a cannibal you don't want that no. cool. I'm just gonna use the teleporter again to get up look out for the spiked ball there Okay, and here's the other well okay that's the lowest though and it has to be because because I didn't I didn't even hear something okay that's the exit in the other tower cursed chest but I'm not going to open it up I'm in the sake of me dying and then I have to start over, so I don't want to do that. It's going to be an elite and I hope it drops a necklace. It does. Because I will be needing that extra damage reduction, I think. I think this is the top of the tower. Yes. So now I'm going exit the other tower. So this is the entrance to the the punishment. War room right there. But I think I missed one bell. Yeah, this is going to be the door to the end of the level, but I'm not going to go there yet. Because I am I am going to show you how these bell towers work. But first I'm going to show where they are and how it works. So I'm going to just cut this out a little bit. So guys, I have found all the bells and if I am right, this is lowest stone. So now we're going to the other one. Yeah. 
see. Let's go here. The second one was underneath here. The location of the bells is all random every time you come here, but it is always low to high tone. So hit that one. Now I can go to the middle. I think it was in the middle. Yeah, just climbing up this section here. I think I'm coming up to the bell right now, yep. Yeah. Uh, this is the third one, I believe. And then I have to go to the last one. That one was at the right side, I believe. Oh, yeah, it was over here. Oh. I moved past it, sorry. And once you got this one, it will drop the bell tower key and now you can open up that closed door with the punishment shield behind it. But I already got it, so it gives me the, uh, the gold item. But I'm coming up to the end of the level. guys i hope this video was helpful and i thank you guys for watching if you liked the video please hit the like button and if you want more gaming videos like this one then you could subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything but that is for today i catch you guys next time